passion, drive, persistence, resilience, love, all qualities that shape and define us. Join the Cyber Warrior as he helps shape your path. This is Walk With Me. Welcome back to Walk With Me, the Cyber Warrior Studios production. I'm your host on this journey, the Cyber Warrior. Now, today's episode is a very important one. For those who don't know, in my family, we've been dealing with loss lately. And how you deal with loss is vital to how your mental health is. You see, you can deal with loss in one of three ways. You can mourn the person that you lost. You can celebrate their life. Or you can run from it. You can hide away in the alcohol, the drugs, and the pain and not ever face it. But as we've talked about many times on this show, facing your emotions, dealing with your emotions is going to help you mentally because it is okay to be sad. It is okay to be angry. It is okay to vent your frustrations to your friends and family. What is not okay is to run from the pain, to hide from it, to act like it's just going to go away when it's not. When I was younger, I lost all four of my grandparents in a short amount of time. And it hurt. And back then, I didn't really understand how to deal. So my family helped us out because we did, we celebrate life. All right, you're going to mourn, you're going to be upset. Like I said, there's three ways to handle this. So you can either mourn forever and always be upset that they passed, or you can celebrate that the life that they lived and what they did for you, and you can honor them. Mourning is part of it. But are you going to celebrate or are you going to go from mourning to running? Running from the pain. And it's important that you realize why celebrating life is so important. I understand the problems for people that lose parents at a young age or lose their kids. By all means, that is not always a life well lived. In the case of children, a lot of times they never even had a shot. So that hurts. What's there to celebrate there other than the brightness they gave to you? Yes, there's ways to celebrate their life no matter how short because they brought something into you. They gave you something. It may feel like it's gone now, but if you think about it and what they gave to you, it's not. You can always find it again. You can always remember what they gave you and honor it. I have been known to bury my pain. I have been known to drink away the pain. I've done it, I've run from it. These days, not so much. I do everything and within my power, I put forth my best effort to face whatever I'm dealing with because you have to face it. We talk about this all the time. You have to face your problems head on. You have to overcome your obstacles. And the only way you're gonna do that is to face it, not run from it. If you hide behind drugs and alcohol when you're dealing with pain, then it never gets dealt with and eventually it becomes worse and then it blows up. Sometimes it leads to anger and outbursts and so many other things. But the one thing that it should never be is handled alone. There are emotions, there are times you have to deal with things on your own. You have to be able to go through and work through your thought process and figure it all out. But when it comes to emotional pain, when it comes to loss, Dealing with it on your own is one of the worst things you can do because on your own, it is very hard to celebrate life. On your own, you think negatively when these emotions hit. The the world around you, the negativity, everything just starts feeding in and it feels like it can't, just can't get any better. Nothing's going to improve. Why did this happen? Why did this have to happen? We've all had these thoughts. For those that lose a grandparent, a lot of times, the way we handle it is realizing that they're no longer in pain. Because many of our grandparents that we lose have been dealing with pain for so long that to be honest, to finally move on is a better way. Now they're no longer in pain, they're no longer hurting, they're no longer dealing with going to hospitals and racking up bills and doing everything else just to stay alive for a little while longer. Now here's the kicker to this though, is here's something that I've also seen. When I tell people to reach out 
to talk to your friends and talk to your family because you never know what's going to happen. I have seen people lose their loved ones and never get to make that call. You see, they pulled away, there were issues, there were things going on in their lives, and they did not want to face it, they did not want to deal, so they ran from it. And then when things happen and stuff goes bad and people finally move on, who do you blame? Because I've seen people blame everybody else when the issue was them all along. They chose not to be there. They chose not to make that call. They chose not to visit. It was a choice. No one's perfect. We're all going to have issues. We all have problems that we deal with on a daily basis. But if there's someone in your family that you love, tell them and be there. Because loss is not fun. I will help my family this week. It is Odin's Day after all. It's all about wisdom and the wisdom that I try to bring to you every single week without fail. So even as I'm dealing with my own things and my own family... I want you to understand the importance of the message that I give you because I am seeing what loss is doing to people when they are unprepared. And even as much as you may prepare yourself for loss, to see a grandparent go that helped raise you, I've been there and now I see others go through it. They don't know how to face it. They don't know how they feel. They haven't been able to to process everything yet because of all that must go on. So I will be here for them. What are you doing? How do you handle loss? Do you face it? Do you process it? Do you celebrate the life and what that person gave to you? Because what you don't realize is even those who you no longer talk to, even those family members who may have made you so angry, you don't deal with them anymore. They still gave you something. If you're willing to learn and you're willing to open your mind when that loss comes, because it will happen, are you going to celebrate what they gave you? Whether it was what not to do or the funny stories or the jokes or everything before things went sideways and everybody quit talking, are you going to remember the good or are you going to only pay attention to the bad? Loss isn't fun for anybody, but if you celebrate it, if you celebrate the life well lived, if you celebrate everything that that person stood for, that maybe you didn't understand at the time, but the now that you can look at it and look what they did for you, maybe, just maybe, there are some lessons you can take from it. There are some lessons in this life that we can take from those who we have discounted. There are lessons in this life that we can take from those that have moved on, that honestly, to this day, when I think about it, there are people that I've lost that still get to me. People that I didn't cherish enough. Friends from the military that I find out passed on way too young. But I know who they are and I know what they stood for. And I will forever carry that with me. You see, I am ever a warrior and I am ever a fighter. And I will forever continue to fight to motivate and inspire all of you. You see, no matter the pain, I have learned how to face it. I am there for my family to face it. And together we will, and we will celebrate life. A life well lived. Now as I await my brother from the army to get up here so me and him can deal with his loss, I won't let him run from it and he knows it. I've already told him that. So together we will conquer it. Together we will celebrate the life Together we will remember. Sure, there might be tears. There might be some stories about things that went wrong and things that could have been better. But together, we will face it. Now, saying that, I'm going to leave you with some wisdom. Like I always do. And we're going back to the Havamal. Because with what has happened this week, it made me remember a stanza that is in it. And it's stanza 81. Now, I never thought too much about this one. The, the way it's worded and, and things of that nature, I never really delved too deep into it. But with what has happened this past week, I started giving it more and more thought. So bear with me. Don't praise the day until it's night. Don't praise your wife until she's buried. Don't praise the sword till after the fight, nor your daughter till she's married. Don't praise the ice until it's crossed, nor the ale 
until you're sloshed. Now, I'm going to cover this stanza next week. It's going to be part of our wisdom. And this is what I'm going to cover. Unless, of course, somebody submits a question, then we'll go with the questions that are asked. But I want you to think about this stanza. I want you to listen. I want you to pay attention. I want you to understand. And I want you to figure out why this one came to mind. And then let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment, start a conversation. Let's figure it out together. Let's discuss it and I'll give you my viewpoint. If you're listening to this on podcast, please leave a review. And if you go to Good Pods, you can always write a comment there for every episode. Now, otherwise, this has been another episode of Walk With Me, a Cyber Warrior Studios production. And in this journey through life, we're going to face loss. But my shows and who I am will always carry me forward. So no matter what happens to me, no matter the way things go in this life, you will always have me. So you take care. I'm the Cyber Warrior. This is Cyber Warrior Studios. And I'll talk to you all next week when I bring back Walk With Me.